They are living on happenstance. You see happenstance in political point of view or normally we say it, when some things are going by default or by you know, something else like for example you're going somewhere and by happenstance looking for water you found oil. This is happenstance. You were not looking for oil. This is what's happening. Pakistan has been going on through happenstance. That's all. The genesis of Pakistan was what? Why did we get separated from India if we have to follow the same culture, rituals, rites and their movies and their heroes, our idols? What is the point of being separated? What was the two nation theory by Ilama Iqbal? I'm asking, what was it? It was that we are different nation. Our history, our culture, our socialism, our politics, everything is different from India, from Hindus and Christians, vice versa. But now look at us. We have broken the promise of God Almighty. That oh Allah, this country was made. You know, Pakistan was made, literally made through these proclamations or, you know, uh, signs or slogans of that La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu And we did deceived Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So Allah has forfeit us. No more job for us. You go there in Pakistan, people are confused, don't know what to do. Where is the leader? What is the way? What is the right way? Every person has been flim flaming, hoodwinking the other guy. Every person has the main motivation is to earn money, money, money. That's all. Mint money, stash money, hold money, hold things and just go for profits after profits. Nobody cares is your money coming halal or haram. Prophet says that riba has so many branches and the least sin of eating riba usually in terrace is that somebody is committing adultery or fornication with his mother in public. Can you take this? And nobody speaks on the real issues of interest we are eating, not even ulamas with respect. 